Hey guys for watching, if you want to know me, my name is AJ, welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. We're back at the lumber mill today, I should really call it a lumber yard, because it's not as much of a mill, uh, as you guys sort of correctly pointed out. It, it is a lumber yard, but I'm not going to change the title of the video now, because uh, it messes up with YouTube's algorithm thing. If you change a title after a video has gone out. So we're just going to keep it as Lumber Mill. And everyone knows what it means. I've just gone ahead and put down some uh, spruce trees here. Because as you guys know. Hey there's a cow. I think it might be the only cow in the city. Uh, I don't think there's one anywhere else. I think there's pigs and chickens over at the uh, beachfront there. But that's, that's it. <laughs> but yeah as we all know. Spruce trees take the longest to grow. So I always grow those first. And just sort of let them do their thing. I've done them at the bottom here. And I've done them around the top here. I think about up to there, uh, so it should give us a sort of a nice wooded area around it once we get the other ones down. Now, this is why it is so important to like uh, roughly colour code your blocks when you're planning out like I have here. Because for me, it's been uh, a little bit over a week since I was last on this world. For you guys, it's only been like like four days or whatever since the last one came out. But I completely forgot what I was doing and when I logged onto the world, I was like, ah! Yellow, they're forklifts, and brown, they'll be like little uh, structures, nah, and then it all came back to me. If I didn't have that, I would probably have forgotten <laughs> all about it. So yeah, how are we doing today? I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing great. I'm marching on a really good day. I don't know what's going on. You know them days where you just feel like everything's going right. That's what I feel like. Uh, I'm going to punch a hole there, 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 and set the clay. I'm going to stick this on like... Uh, like a clay floor like we have over there. Uh, just so they look like they're more finished, more polished. I think that's a good idea. Okay, and uh, I think let's just build some frames. Because while I build some frames, I should be able uh, to do a little bit of talking. But actually, first, what are we going to build these frames out of? Because if we make them out of wood, and then we put wood on them, it might look a little bit weird. I think we're going to want to use clay. Uh, maybe red... And I think I prefer this brown over that brown. That brown's always a little bit dark. Maybe we'll do it as like a little ac ac bleh, accent brown or something like that. Let's turn these shaders off. Now, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing with this. So, uh, we're just sort of going to have a build and, and see where it takes us. Now, some of you may have noticed uh, that I haven't replaced my uh, Papers, Please series. Now, for the longest time, I've always had at least uh, two series running on the uh, on the channel. Uh, but recently, it's become a little bit tricky to do that because of real world stuff. Isn't it so annoying? Real world gets in the way of everything. Um, work, mostly. Um, as you guys know, I work in a uh, toy shop in real life. Uh, which uh, sounds all fun and dandy. You know, toys, yay! Get to get to play with some toys and, and have fun and, and yeah well it doesn't always work out like that <laughs> it very rarely works well uh, and coming up to can you believe it it's basically coming up to Christmas as far as the toy shop is concerned or as far as that business is concerned it's it's, it's coming up to Christmas so we have to uh, start preparing for uh, the Christmas rush basically um, which is uh, I'm gonna go up. Uh, I would really like that to be a shelf, but it looks high. Mind you, we've got the forklifts for it. Okay, we'll go up another block. Um, yeah, the Christmas rush, that means like all of the uh, layout of the shop is changing depending on, on what they think is going to be a, a good toy for Christmas. So they sort of put that at the front and, and toys that they think are sort of dying off, they sort of put to the side. And, and it, the shop itself is just getting more and more busy. Uh, which is cool because well, it, it, it is nice in a way because uh, Sometimes I think I think a lot of people will agree with me here Even though nobody likes going to work a lot of the time you'd rather be doing something than doing nothing um, Time goes a lot quicker when you've actually got to do something everybody likes just standing there and doing nothing sometimes <laughs> It's human nature um, but a lot of the time uh, you, you do that too much and uh, and, and time just then starts to drag and, and, and the minutes start going a lot slower. Um, so yeah, at the moment, time has been going a, a pretty fast, shall we say, with all of the work that, that needs to be done. Um, but on the downside, though, for, for you guys, uh, that does mean that there's been less videos going out. Uh, it's just something that I can't 
I can't really help. Um, if I don't have the time to record videos, then then I can't record them. Which is why there hasn't been a, a replacement for the Papers, Please series. Uh, there's some videos that I want to do. I really want to do a bit of a, a vlog video soon. Or not a vlog video, like a, well, like a catch-up video. Uh, I used to do them quite a lot, like a... Uh, what have I done this month sort of thing or or every couple of months I just sort of do a little bit of an update video but I haven't done one for ages and uh, it's well overdue I'll put that in there what does this look like looks pretty cool actually yeah and then we lay the, the planks and stuff on there um yeah it, it's it's well overdue I get to then sort of talk to you guys about what um I'm gonna just stick with these two slabs I think I think the other slabs. I mean, I could do a little bit of dark oak. Potentially, I'll put it there, but I don't think I'll use it. Um, yeah, I've got a lot to talk about, really. Um, like, future of the channel and all that kind of stuff. You know, everybody that... Uh, the things that everyone's always sort of interested in hearing about. Um, I think I might do, like, oak and then spruce and then dark oak and then oak or something like that. Um... So yeah, need to definitely do some kind of uh, update videos uh, relatively soon. Get you guys back in the loop. Um, another video I want to do uh, pretty soon, actually. I I've talked about mostly, actually, on this series. Uh, but I want to do, like, uh, uh, a survival tour of my off-camera survival world. Now, when I'm, I'm, I'm off-camera, I still play a little bit of Minecraft here and there. I never really play too much, obviously, because I sort of play enough when I'm... Uh, recording but sometimes I just sort of like to to jump on and have a little bit of a play anyway I got a bit addicted with hey tree grew I got a little bit addicted recently to uh, bedrock edition on the Xbox uh, of, of Minecraft and ended up sort of playing it way more than I should have I mean it's it's not like I've recorded like uh, not that I've played like for thousands and thousands of hours um, but I've done a fair bit of recording uh, playing on it hours put into it and I just wanted to show you guys. I thought some of you would be interested, and it seemed to got seemed to have gotten a, a pretty warm feedback when I spoke about it the other day. Um, it does mean though I've got to sort of hook up my Elgato, and I haven't hooked up my Elgato to my Xbox in I don't know how long. I don't know if I even know how it works anymore. <laughs> that looks really cool. I want another layer at the bottom as well. Um, uh, yeah, I, I've still got the software on my computer, uh, and I know I've still got the software on my computer because I still actually use the editing software that I got with the Elgato um, to edit these videos, and I always have. I've always used the same software since I very since the very start of my channel. Uh, I've used exactly the same uh, recording uh, software. Which is good in a way because it knows I know exactly how to use it. I know its limits. I know what it can do. I know what it can't do. Uh, but on the other hand, it's a bit of a, a downside because you really want to always try new things and try and improve and upgrade and stuff. Um, I just haven't really found a need to it. My my video style and my editing style that m means that I really don't need like Sony Vegas and stuff for like all these fancy edits and and all that. I, I just don't need it. It's just not required. Um, just nice simple basic stuff is, is, is all I really need that looks so cool I can just imagine like forklift forklift I've got some here now if you guys don't know these are actually sort of a living animals which is quite weird uh, you can ride them or drive technically drive them as you can see uh, I'm driving it around you can't do anything else with it I can't like lift it's really loud I can't lift up the forks or anything like that. Uh, but when you're not in them, they actually move, or, or, or not move, they actually rotate like animals. They don't actually walk or anything like that. Um, it's like their AI, AI is disabled, but whoever made the mob, uh, the mod, done it in a little bit of a strange way, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind them rotating. Sometimes I'd almost want them to move um, by themselves. I think it'd be really cool just to have a little bit of a dynamic aspect to it. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so can I cheese this a little bit and copy and paste this? I might add some yellow in as well uh, to, to the front of this. Or, or some yellow into the, the bill. Yellow is always like a good like warning sort of colour. Okay, rotate 90 
and then if I stand here and paste, it's not long enough, obviously, but I should be able to um, extend it some some clever way. Uh, how many blocks is that actually? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got like a the leg there and a leg there and six blocks in between. So if I get the leg here and then I do one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I add this one. Copy. I copy that maybe here. And then I come over here and I paste it. I'm trying to like be smart about this. Huh? Oh, I I just done the top. Okay, um That may maybe I can still hear those forklifts. The sound does stop in the end. Aha! Beautiful. You know what? That's actually worked out so much better than I thought it would. <laughs> it's wonderful when that happens. Now that's really cool. Like having like an L shape like this works superbly. It really fills out the area. It gives it some real height as well, which is nice. Okay, I think I really like that. I'm going to extend this just a smidge, just to here. And now, if I was in the newest version of Minecraft, I would use, like, the, um, uh, are they called saw? They might be called sawmills, I think. Um, to make it look like that's sort of what I'd use to chop up, um, the logs and stuff. Um, but, uh, because we don't, we're going to have to make our own somehow. Uh, so let's get some iron blocks. And let's get some iron bars. And I think if we done something like that... It's not really that great, but I can imagine that being a circular. So this is how we used to do it. <laughs> this is like how, how, how it used to be done before we had uh, a natural saw mill block. Uh, but if I put some slabs like out here, maybe even some stairs. We'll use oak because it's nice and simple for us. Maybe a slab on top like that. Looks like a little pile of, of, of sawdust even maybe. Oh, I wonder if I used iron ore... This could be quite cool. I could put iron ore in here and it looks like, to me at least, um, like sawdust, like shavings on the floor around here. I mean, just around the blade. That could be quite cool. And then if we grab a little bit of a log here. Um, I wonder if I extended this out. Uh, stair. Try and make it look a little bit cool. Um, depending on what way these, yeah, that could work. So we could have that one. And that one. It doesn't look too bad, you know. That looks okay. I think, I think anybody who looked at it would be able to get what it was supposed to be. I could probably take that one. If I wanted a smaller blade, I could do it like that. I think I like the bigger looking blade. Sort of when they push it through. Okay, cool. That's got that sorted. Uh, what about the little hut now? What materials do we want for the hut? Um, I think I want to stay away from brown, I think, because we've got a lot of brown going on and there will be even more when we get the trees grown. Um... Clay is probably a good way to go. Let's have a cyan foundation. I think we'll stick with a red um, line somewhere in it. And we'll maybe just hardened clay as well in there. So cyan foundation, hardened clay with a red strip at the top should be quite a nice combination. Now we've already planned out the size of this so it shouldn't be too hard to get this started. Oops, like that, and then, I don't know, two blocks of this, and then a red line, and then maybe another hardened clay line on top of that, or we might just start with the roof, we'll see what it looks like. So this is really 
just like a, an administration's office, a, a tea room for the uh, employees. Uh, yeah, for the employees. Um, maybe you can make your, you can pay for the wood that you know you come and pick up from here, um, like trade deals or whatever. Just a simple, a simple little building. Okay, I think if we put another hardened clay on top, it'd probably look a little bit tall. However, we do need a roof. And I think, I think I would like more of a interesting roof. Instead of just doing a flat roof on here, I think maybe we could do something like this here and here. Now, it could be a little bit tricky to do like a half peak when the wall continues on. I reckon we can pull something off and then if we done that that would be higher I don't think that would really be too much of a problem or oh, I could just do it like that and have that as like a, a flat part I don't know I'll leave it on there for now we'll see when we get there okay let's use a uh, this it's a nice easy block that goes with everything oh yeah but if I do that there it covers the red. Okay, we're going to have to add another block onto here. Onto there. And another block onto there. And I could get one there if we wanted to. And now I can uh, I can put these here. And it still then sits onto it. And we still be able to see the, uh, the red line underneath it. Okay, normal roof strategy. As we, as we always do, put in the peaks first. Like this. Because it's such a simple building, I think we can just draw a line around. Like this. Not only is this the best way to do a roof, I think it's probably the quickest as well to actually, like, put it all together. It gives you the most connection points. Okay, and then this is the little tricky part here. We're going to fold this one around like that that's the only tricky part of the build pop these on underneath i can imagine on the front of that little building there it'd have like a little um a little uh lumber mill guy uh, lumberjack guy probably is what i'm sort of imagining uh with a little log in one hand and a plank in the other i can imagine that being like the little logo for it right on there obviously we can't do that the closest I could probably get would be the the one wide two high painting of a of a man. Um, that's probably as close as I could get. Which actually wears a red top like a like your traditional uh, stereotypical lumberjack. You know that's that sort of checker pattern, red and white, isn't it? Red and white top is what you always see on like the uh, the pictures and stuff, cartoons. I wonder why that is. If any of you guys know why those clothes are like the stereotypical lumberjack, let me know. Is it just because they were warm or or, or or what? I don't know. Okay, now this leaves us with this little top part here. And I think because it's not really that much of a big area, I think we can get away with just putting the slab over the top how you would normally do. Just like that. There we go. Nice little hut on the front here. Let's um, poke out a door on... I saw what a door on this side, I think. Like that. And then we'll poke out a few windows. Now, do we want to go with little single dot windows? Or do we want to go with the doubles? I think I like the doubles. What about the double doubles? They're quite big. But they look very small. No, I think we'll go with the double doubles. We'll go with the four, the, the two by twos. Um, like that, and like that. It's actually working out really well. We've got two blocks in the middle there, two blocks in the middle there. Won't really work there. What about a little three by three, uh, three by two one there? That sort of works. Glass. Pop these down there, and there. There. Oh, stuck in the tree. And here. Uh, don't want to do something like that. 
It's a bit weird, but I sort of like it. Um, not this one. No, I can't on that one because it's a, a two wide one. Uh, we want slabs. I think we'll go with white under here. I can imagine it being sort of PVC plastic style on there. Can I put like a four colors in there or, or anything like that? Like a, like a brown and a green, oops, and a green. Just as like a, a basic logo, it sort of looks like a, maybe like a, a lot or a tree and a stump next to it or something like that. It's just, I just want to give something of an idea that that's a logo. I think that would be pretty cool. In fact, we could probably do the same thing on like a pole. Yeah, I think I like that. Just so it's sort of up there. Can I surround it or do something like interesting with it? Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty snazzy. I think we'll put the same thing at the bottom here. So it's got like a little bit of a, a plop on the bottom and a plop on the top. Yeah, that works. Okay, um, I think we're we're basically sort of nearly done. Let's get some yellow, and I think there's no point in having this grass here. We might as well make that set stone. I think I'll probably even draw around this. I'll probably go all the way to there and to there. So that goes around that part. Uh, I'll probably have a fence that goes around there. That has to stay grass because I think it just looks better. And I think I'll probably do a little line of stone there. Just so we can... Yeah, I think that sort of borders that off quite nicely. Uh, yellow. So I want... I want like a no parking in front of here. Oops. If I could push keys right. So it adds a little bit of detail to the floor, is mostly what I do this for. Um, just when you're sort of up in the air, it's just sort of a little bit more eye-catching. Um, and I might do it sort of, or I might do like a... Uh, like this. Yeah, I mostly do it just to, to sort of fill up some space on the floor. Um, it's always a nice sort of tactic to do. There you go. It sort, of, it sort of lines out where lorries can park or something like that. I think I like that. I think I like that a lot. Uh, a little bit of a fence now or, or, or some sort of wall going on. I wouldn't mind a wall, I think. Because we've got this, this fence here, so I don't think I want to sort of go another fence over there. It might look a little bit weird. But like a little um, brick... Like a double high brick like this with wool on top just something it doesn't need to be complicated i think it looks pretty neat adds a little bit of uh privacy in there sign still sort of pokes over the top might change the bottom brick block up to like a red clay again it sort of fills in with all of the uh the other bits of red then um, what is red clay? Oh, 5914. Yeah. Just keeps that... That colour all the way through. I like this. A uh, little line. I know we need to do the interior. Uh, oh, what should I do on this side? Uh, I know we need to do the interior of... Uh, the house, but I might not even bother doing it. There's not really too much point. I can do it off camera if I 
really get that bothered about it. Um, but yeah, what about wall that comes around the back at all? Do we want anything? Well, ain't no one going to be able to rob any wood from this direction, are they? Unless they've got a crane and a boat. So it'll be very, very tricky too. Um, red. Maybe we can just do a little bit of... Oh, I don't like how this is visible either. A little bit of that going on. Um, I'll bring it out here. And then this one. Set clay. Brick. Wall. Because somehow I got rid of the wall from my hotbar. Yeah, it just closes it all off. Uh, yeah, I probably should go along the back. Oops. I got rid of the brick again, typically. I was just going to go to there. I'm not going to go anymore. Brick. All right, and I think, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. Uh, we should have a look with the shaders on because it's always a nice a nice final touch to finish off with. We'll, we'll find a nice spot for a thumbnail. Drag this wall around here. Uh. What would be the name of this mill, though? And I don't want all, all yard. I don't want, like, Zono's yum, Lumber Yard. <laughs> <laughs> just a boring name you, you, you want like like Pritchard's Pritchard's Mill or something like different like that yeah I think that will just pop these on and say if you guys enjoyed it hit that like button if you haven't already then feel free to subscribe and we shall see you in the next episode bye